Welcome back to an episode of We Are Not Playing as a Dwarf. No, we are playing as Ives. The, uh, for now at least, uh, person who is able to talk to other things. There's a spirit, a masked spirit of a servant who seems to be dead in silence. At first glance, the spirit seems much like its host. Hollow, detached, yet in its eyes you see something more ominous. Something not apparent before. Agony. Oh, I ask a spirit if it is in pain. The spirit nods, and its face grows even more tortured. It is trapped. By what or by whom, you cannot say. Hmm. Spirits as haunted as the graveyard it roams. The spirit does not respond to your presence. Interesting. Let's just uh, reactivate that sense now. I want to have a look around. Uh, wait a minute. No, this is the northern exit. I have to go to the fire thingy. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, they, look at this. Spirit of Vilmix Kriva. You there! Help me, please! Oh, wait a minute. Don't we know this dude? Huh. Ask what's the matter. Some thoughtless fool buried me in this grave to be left as fodder for the worms. I can't be at peace in a place like this. I have to be put to rest according to lizard tradition. Ah, makes sense. And I already got your uh, meat. <laughs> the eternal mm. fire burns in the lizard quarter of the cemetery. I beg you, cast my remains into the fire. Set my spirit free. I will never know peace otherwise. All right, done and done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I already uh, found your remains, Good. by the way. Now take it to the eternal fire. Burn it and free me. Right. Well, uh, wait a minute. Why am I... There we go. I had the wrong orientation. Just have to get to the fire there. It's somewhere in the south... Eastern uh, part. Wait a minute. We're getting there, though. We are getting there. There are no more spirits up here, but the blood still remains, which is kind of weird. Oh, look at that. More lizards. It's hard not to feel some pride in reptilian engineering. I watched an elf spend hours trying to force his way into a lizard's chest. Eventually, he threw it into the flames. But still, it sits there, indestructible. He did not leave empty handed. Unfortunately, I pity the poor salamander that he dragged back to his ghastly home. Hmm. More lizards. Hi, spirit of my servant again. The spirit cannot speak, or perhaps chooses not. Not to. Yes. Uh, let's throw this thing in there. It's. Uh, yeah, this thing. Right there. Bam. You have done me a great service, friend. Now, the Hall of Echoes beckons. Of course, we don't get the good stuff. Uh, poison Wave would have been nice, though, but uh, let's see. What's the highest? Uh, we can only get one. Let's get the Restoration spell. Why not? Good. And where... Where is the restoration spell? Was it already placed in my inventory? That's quite convenient. Quite convenient indeed. So, what about this one? Uh, more flasks. No, those flasks are like the same all the time. Good, 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 good. We heard... Ah, uh, oh, about 20,000 gold. And I thought that gold is not easy to come by. What happened now is like... The opposite, pretty much. Okay, so the spirits don't disappear even. That's quite quite useful, actually. And where's the wolf? Uh, nope. The this way. All right, now it makes more sense. Uh, oh, more undead servants. Look at that. The spirit does not. Yeah, does not notice your presence. Let's see. Oh, there's also a way to go down there, which I 
kind of didn't do. There's also another. That's weird. Why is that door not open yet? Let's pick that one real quick. Maybe I forgot that. Either a level too low. Wait, wait. Oh! Hmm. Ah, oh, bollocks. No, I'm not the one with feathery anymore. Oh! 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 Okay, okay, okay. That's actually not so good, if you think about it. Um. So, feathery bonuses, feathery bonuses. Uh, iffy, 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 iffy. Uh, Fane has to be my thief, and the law mastery has to go to the beast, because otherwise... I can't utilize the feathery properly. That's not good. And I wanted to switch that the right way. Now I know why I uh, wanted uh, Fane to be my thief. Because it has to be an undead one that does the feathering. But because of this uh, annoying situation that my main character is an undead character, I got the feathery myself. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. So, let's change that real quick before we go back there. Uh, Lawmaster, four, go away. Four and feathery, except. And you are going to get four from feathery. And there we go. All of them into Lawmaster. Except that. Uh, righty. Was it this way around or was it the other way around? Good. So, now I just need to move the feathery thing uh, to this dude, which is actually possible. Right. And this belt doesn't seem to be that good. And... Ah, he uses tele... Ah! Telekinesis. Look at that. Now it makes more... Wait, what? He has enough intelligence, he can actually use that. Um, looks like I'm going to utilize my intelligence uh, teleportation class now. Bam. Ah, sweet, sweet, sweet. Too bad they're not as good, though. Hmm. That's the only bad thing about them. So, decomposing Terramensis belt. Uh, decent defenses. And... Yeah, this dude needs a much, much, much better belt. Let's give him the critical thing from before. And be happy about that. So, uh, let's get back up there. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got teleportation. We got the good stuff. Now we just need to put uh, the decomposed terramental thing in here. Right. Alrighty, good. So now back to the stone garden. Ah, and uh, time to open this other crypt entrance thingy. This one. No, it's the wrong one. Uh, which one was? Ah, there we go. That's the one. What was it? I don't know. Huh. This is how complicated that is. It's just, uh, it just goes all over the place. Ah, wait, this is now open. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Ooh, more undead spirits. Look at that. Come on, mistress. Hear me. Heed me. You've always had a glint in your eye for old Simsky. Don't abandon me now! Zimski mutters to himself as he traces sigils in the dirt. He spies you, and a shrewd look brightens his eyes. He stretches out a hand, showing you a solitary coin on his palm. Heads or tails? Hmm. Alright, so let's go with heads. He flips the coin high in the air. It twinkles beneath the moonlight as it spins down, and he claps it to his forearm. It's tails. Unlucky. But then what do I know about luck anymore? All my life I served Lady Luck and see how it ends. In the dirt, just the same as everybody else. Hmm. Turning from you, he crouches back to the dirt. He resumes tracing esoteric sigils, his fingertips swirling through the graveyard clay. 
Okay. Uh, what he's trying to draw, yes. Their signs, the caller. Oh, Lady Luck always came when I called. For 30 years we roamed Rivalon together. She was my faithful mistress. From card game to wager to griff. She was the life of me. Yet she wants no dead man. Now I cannot influence even a coin toss. But you breathe. Hmm. I'll wager you more use for my gifts than I do. Here, tell me what you truly value. If my lady sees fit, I'll give you what I truly value in return. Interesting. Now, that uh, being alive quite a bit. Well, aren't we undead? Uh, tell Zimski your values are none of his business. Nah. Mystic, tell him you value what you see beyond the veil more than what lies upon the earth. Then we got the jester. Tell him that happiness and smiles are what's most valuable to you in life. Frown and state that helping others gives your life value and meaning. Okay, we go with the mystic or the jester. I think I'm going to go with the jester. Good enough. He smiles a foxy smile as he stabs claw-like fingers at your chest. He begins to trace sigils on your flesh. Though you cannot feel his fingers upon your skin, something inside you shifts. You feel a coldness and a sick longing seeps into your heart. Hmm. Stand firm and allow Zimski to continue. He croons incantations as he works, and his voice is like the throwing of a thousand dice inside your brain. Your body is suddenly filled with lust for coin and craving for more. Ah, uh, now you feel her touch. Now Lady Luck sings in your blood as she once did in mine. Now I feel nothing. And there he goes. Okay, we got a source potion. Pretty interesting. Glistening with potential. This liquid source is a redolent of drawn dew. Drinking it will do more than quench your thirst. It will replenish your source powers. Question, how often can you do that? Let's save beforehand. And it's gone. Right. So why is it that we just got a source potion and also um, something something luck? Uh, either the quest is done now or there is something else that we can do because I'm not quite sure uh, how this quest actually ended. I really want to sort it by time of completion or something like that. So you can at least look at it again. Uh, popularity contest... No, that's not it. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Sense of resistance, matches to serve and dump. Nope. <sighs> they shall not pass. Cursed ring, no. Uh, I got woken, no. Reapers cruised, maybe weather. Speaking for tongue, can you chickens in crisis that shall not pass? Hmm. Uh, try for all season. No, this is not it. Midnight oil. Bicon. Nope. Man. No. Gift of Blackroot. Nope. Waking Riker. We met Riker. He offered the teacher's ways of source, but only if we helped him first. Yes. Opposites attract. You gotta be kidding me, I can't find that anymore. Or was it hunger from beyond? Nope. Bollocks. Eh, that's just the thing, like there's some, some name and then woof, uh, as quickly as it was shown uh, with the same speed it also went away. Definitely not helping as much. Uh, bollocks. Anyway, we got maybe something useful, who knows. So, let's have a bit more of a look around. Oh, look at that. Another undead dude. A sinner I, and who is not. The sinner lies that they sin not. A sinner lies. And yet the boneyard's full of sinners who got their prayers, while I did not. Good, 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 good. Do I have to bless them? Ah, there we go. Now we found it again. Uh, wait, let's, let's, let Fane do that. Bam. Nice one. 
And that's usually something that has to be opened with strength. Okay. So, let's open this. That's the wrong bag. Let's move that in there. Medium stuff comes to me. That comes also to me. Bam. Right. Does it... I think, yeah, if you order sort it, the items are just stacked on one another. That's pretty useful. Good. I think that's all of it, wasn't it? Let's hope so. Ah, oh, wait, there's another undead dude. The Digger Davis. The brave you dig. Oh, yes, you would. But you heard the creak and then the click. Then came the bang, then came the bang. <laughs> click, click, bang. Yeah, we got that one. It came. Um, but then it disappeared. We managed that much. So, oh, look at that. That's the undead dude again. The spirit cannot speak. Or yeah, or perhaps does not choose to. What about talking oh, now? You again. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? Uh, kind of, kind of not. And there is more gold. Now look at that. Wait, do we really not have that? Wait a minute. Where did all my items go? Did it really sell all of them? <laughs> it kind of doesn't feel right. Uh, kind of doesn't feel right. Like some... I, or maybe it was the posh. No. Somehow the valuable objects are gone. Which is weird. I thought I still had a few of them left. Huh. Okay. So, shakles of pain, mosquito, bone case, race of dead, living on the edge. Yeah, nothing new comes up. Ah, the fire stuff. Why, why, why? Oh, that's new stuff. The star struck. Water. Uh, it's another stuff. No, we're not here for, this, for, for the stuffing. Um, we're here for other things, like wands and the like. This wand is really good. Um, let's see if he wants that. <laughs> ah, it's really good damage. Really good damage. How much is it? 1,700. So we can actually reduce it a wee bit to one, roughly 200. This dude has the best things. One more bartering. Get to be kidding me. I could get... This is actually a good one. Constitution? Yes. Bartering? Yes. Everything in there is good. Jewelous Delight. I could keep this one. And another Lucky Charm. Okay, do we get more than that, though? Movement. Dodging. New. Uh, oh, Feathery. Look at that. The Jack Strap. But I got Feathery already. And it's Bartering bonus, too. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, belt of Power is actually Bartering Feathery. Yeah. It would be better, but it's a wee bit of a waste uh, because of all of the other points that we got here. Yeah, I definitely need to get this amulet here. That would be okay. So let's get the amulet. Uh, what about the armor? Strength Geomancer. Uh, just a wee bit different. Flick shield on contact. Yes, yes, yes. Scoundrel Necromancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am looking for wands, to be honest. I got a 20 wand. Uh, the fire wand is there for the... Uh, for our little wizard. Uh, da, 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 the stuff st stuff. Stuff stuff. Hmm. Another nice spear. If it's not higher than 30 something, you don't need it. The nice thing would be that this is extreme amounts of fire, right? Like this is just insane. But the combination with poison and fire makes it go boo. And this is even more interesting. So, what do we got here? Summon Hungry Flower. Uh, yeah, with Source Point, Black Shrine. Mm. Raise Bloated Corpse. We got that one. Uh, wasn't there another raising thing? Raise Bone Widow, exactly. Raise a walking pile of bones which can consume corpses to restore vitality and uh, receive a stacking damage buff. The stance of this summons will depend on cast level and summon it. I could actually use that one, raise the bone widow. 
but I know that spells can be found all over the place, so it might be a wee bit uh, weird to just spend money on this one now. Ah! This is why. It's not in the wares. Unbelievable. Okay, let's even this out. And accept that. So what about the ruby? Can you sell it? Should you sell it? Questions upon questions. Oh, goodness. You must be disappointed. I'm only guessing, mind you. Hard to read your face when it's so hidden. Take a few deep breaths and give it a... Another go, yes. So, let's see. I didn't buy last one. There we go. Sadly, we lose an intelligence points, but... Mm, wait, no. It's bothering. Uh, and I... Oh, I actually did it wrong. Uh, you have to actually... Get the bartering point before you do anything else. Oh wait, no. Uh oh. Damned Riker. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's that's not good. Okay, I do need another point in finesse. Otherwise, uh, I can't keep him with all of the bartering equipment. That's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay. So, let's get this ambulance here for bartering. Get to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, okay, so wait. Yeah, now it works. Uh, we don't need this. We need the... Uh, the boot. Pants. There we go. Uh, boots and that piece. There we go. This is there for him. And it's going to exchange this thing. Nice. Alright, what are we going to do with that? Uh, that can be... Placed somewhere else. Yet again. Unbelievable. Unbloody believable. I need a point in finesse, but I'm uh, kind of close to leveling up though, so I should be okay. Good. Hmm... So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There are two people in here. Alright. Now, always two. Awful lot of weight. That's a dead lizard assassin. Ah, huh. Two dead lizard assassins. It, it beckons to me. A lone witness to the carnage that must have happened here. I must speak with it. There is an urgency in its bearing that cannot be denied. Hmm. All right. Uh, go ahead then. The Red Prince addresses the lizard spirit. He turns out to be a dreamer, long dead, who speaks archaically and sings in a truly ancient tongue. Rav Mudon, Anan Erket, Vetu Duran. Like a lullaby, the melody lulls them both to sleep until, with a start, the Red Prince wakes once more. My word. Even I, not in my wildest, most demon-lusting dreams, could have guessed a destiny such as this. You're burning with curiosity. What destiny? A tale too preposterous to be believed, and yet so ultimately, so undeniably true once told. The race of lizards, all of us, we were dragons once. Great red dragons. Somehow, eons ago, we withered. We shrank. Our wings shriveled, never more to be the majestic creatures we once were, until now. Hmm, you have a nagging suspicion. Tell him to explain the last word. I am to be the father of dragons, and she, the Red Princess, is to be the mother. Mm-hmm. I've told you about her, haven't I? The secret of my soul. All my life I thought she was but a dream within a dream, but she is real. She is here, and I must go to her, to think she awaits me even now, no more than a walk away. Come, we must move north at once. Hmm, okay, let's agree, so that you're trying to find out if any of this could be real, yes. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 let's smoke and ask if his eagerness has anything to do with the rather 
intim intimate aspects of the prophecy. It is a union years in the making. Mm -hmm. Of course I'm eager. But it is her safety that concerns me as well. Of course. We mustn't forget the House of Shadows continues to hunt us. The dreamer I met only managed to elude them by escaping bodily into the dream realm, never to return. Sacrifices are being made in our names, mine and hers, so that we may sire dragons. I intend to prove worthy of these sacrifices. The Red Prince turns to thank the spirit for its aid. The old soul concludes its melody, and with it, its stay upon this world. Hmm. And there it goes. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But uh, we cannot talk to us. Assassins, yes. So it's kind of weird that we summon up two other people. It would be nice to have some kind of vendors to summon up. That would be quite useful. Alright, wait a minute. Uh, let's go to this ancestor tree. The uh, undead only come up once. Ah, look at that. Dead people. The spirit ignores your presence. Busy as it is resisting the pull of another. The ancestor tree, trying to take its source. All you feel is the spirit's resistance and its anger directed at the mother tree that has betrayed it. Hmm. The spirit ignores your presence. Bis the spirit ignores your... The roots of a great ancestor tree... Re Nothing. What if we were... I mean... Yeah, let's see... That's the wrong one. Uh, I need the face thingy. It's the unlocked thing. There we go. Let's see. No, I don't want to turn into a human. Uh, I What is this? Toggle lock. Oh. Oh. That's the thing that I was actually interested in. Ah, nice. And revert to original form. There is no such thing. I am looking for turning into humans. Cannot forget item skill. It's not about forgetting it. Wait, no. Uh, the other way would be to move this down or up. Oh. There are so many other spells up here. It's kind of weird. Let's talk to them now. The spirit ignores your presence. Busy. Okay, nothing happens. Right. Uh, let's get the headpiece back in there. The source magic is astounding. It just moves you and moves you and moves you. Doobity doo, doobity doo, doo doo. Bam. Ah, oh, do. Those two ghosts are actually blocking my path forward. Okay, this is where the philosopher was. That's not good. Like, you summon your own obstacles. Definitely not nice. Definitely not nice. Alright. Uh, there's also a way down, actually. And uh, there's... Oh. There's something hidden here. What is this? Garrick's Buried Valuables. The values are... Valuables are actually very close by. Uh, I think I... Yeah. I'm going to explore the Stone Garden a little bit more. Uh, because there were two... Ways in here. There's a hatch somewhere. Uh, what does this one say? This is one. Uh, it doesn't actually tell me anything else, to be honest. That one can go. And this is one marker, meaning that I have to go this way. But there's a hatch somewhere. Yeah, this is the hatch that we can enter. And then there is the staircase thingy. Uh, stairs. Right, to the Surrey Crypt. And the Surrey Crypt is the one that the dude actually wanted me to explore. What is this? Stone Garden, just the general name of it? Okay. Even more undead. Okay, let's look at the villa for now. There could be some kind of secondary main entrance or whatnot. Secondary main entrance. Yeah, this is what we call it. 
secondary main entrance. So, Raika, Raika, Raika. Thank goodness we got all of the items now. It looks so cool. Pianist. The spirit sits behind the grand piano, her hands moving to and fro along the ivory keys. Oh, are black and white, my fingers dark, as lost between worlds as I am. Oh, globes they glide, oh, flats and sharps. Where they go they, Lord of Life, direct them. Hmm. Tell her to guide them to a time of grand adventure, of souls hunters and homesteads. Tell her to direct them to an era of glory, dragons, demons, and worlds yet unconquered. Um, tell her to lead them to a land, fairy tales of heroes, wizards, and young divinity. You've no appetite for music. Let's go with number three. The echoes of a distant past pervade the room as the spirit embarks upon a long lost tune. Ah, oh, this is sweet. The spirit gives you a torch. Hmm, tortured look, yes. Did I actually ever enter this place here? Because once I do, things may go south really, really quickly. Oh, wait a minute. This is the cheese thingy with Betty. Ah. Ah, right. Another servant, another servant. The spirit cannot speak. Cannot speak, yes. None of them can. None of them spirits can actually talk. But there is one little exception. What if we can actually talk to the spider? No. We will. Oh, look at this. There's a ruby. Okay. Totally forgot that one. How can you forget a ruby? <laughs> Oh wait, there's another dude. Pavlov pa pa Pavlonia. Before you stands the ghost of an older woman. Clad in flowing magister's robes, she peers around the room as if looking for something lost. On seeing you, she brightens and extends an ethereal hand. Magister Pavlonia. Charmed to meet you, I'm sure. Hmm. Your hand passes right through hers. She shrieks, horror animating her face. Oh my hand! My, my fingers. Hmm. Well, uh, let's inform her that she is in fact uh, deceased. Uh, mockingly, wait. Hmm. Well, really, I'm quite aware of that. Oh, are you? But I am not fully myself. I keep forgetting things somehow. It's hard to hold all the threads together when you've fallen apart yourself. Wait, the spider. It was the spider. She chewed me, bits of me, slowly. I keep looking, but I can't find myself. Okay, uh, what was it that she's doing here in the first place? Ah, uh, yes. I came from the Black Pits to, to negotiate with Riker here in his house. We needed to ensure that scoundrel wouldn't interfere with our plans there. He must have mixed something into the delightful rose tea he served me. And then... Then... Ah! Next I knew, I was rolled up in webbing as the... His spider sucked the marrow right from my bones and nibbled my limbs off. Hmm. I hope you didn't drink any tea downstairs. Eh... Uh... Don't know. That's why the power of the Magisters would need to negotiate with one man. Yes. He's a master sorcerer. Everyone knows that. But he's too powerful to take to the joy. And besides, he had some business that coincided with Dallas's interests. Of course, if he were to act up, he could always work on his little vulnerability to fortify. Hmm. So Dallas ordered him left alone, providing he didn't interfere with Magister business in the Black Pits. Okay, what is in the Black Pits? 
She throws you a haughty glance. In the sharp lines of her face, you see steely determination overtaking the spirit's distracted manner. None of your... Never hmm. mind. Alright. Definitely a lot of drama there. Hmm. And then there's the painting again. Kind of fell as if we can actually pick up the cat. Uh, the animals argue on. Dog. Oh. Dog. 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 Cat. Dog. Cat. Cat. Dog. Dog. Cat. Look at that. There's a, there's an ink pot there. What else we got? Uh. Yeah, there's nothing there. All of that has already been cleared perfectly. So, input, 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 input. And now we're just going to keep that. Onwards. Let's get down again. Actually, I could just use the teleporter. But everything in here is so close by. Should work fairly well. So, uh, I'm going right eastward. That is better. So then there was the hatch. There we go. Which one is it? This way. Yes. We are definitely going to enter that and go downstairs into the Surrey Crypt in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta!